Hey, what's going on, y'all? Jay from JS Films. And in this video, we're going to be taking a look at Substrate once again. Now, I don't know about you, but I've been using MetaHumans for a while since it came out, but I've never seen MetaHumans actually cry. And that's for a very good reason, let alone sweat. I don't think I've ever seen any MetaHumans sweat or cry. And that's because it was very difficult to do. Now, obviously, if you know how to do it, then good job on you. But the common people really don't know how to do it. So again, with Substrate, I'm hoping that it would get a little bit easier to make a metahuman cry or sweat. So here I am kind of just messing around with Substrate again. So what we'll do is we'll go to the actual head mesh for this metahuman. Now, this is for all the metahumans you have because this is the actual parent material here. And you're going to see that we have the Substrate Legacy Conversion. Again, if you enable Substrate in your project, it's going to automatically convert all the materials of everything in your project into Substrate, which could be good or bad because as far as compatibility, I'm not so sure. But as you can see here, the MetaHumans gets converted. So we have the Legacy Conversion. It takes all of the inputs right here from your original MetaHuman textures and it puts it into a substrate node or slab, whatever you want to call it. So again, with substrate, you can stack multiple slabs together and then take that result and put it into your end node or output. And that's the beauty of it, right? So my thought process again is, hey, can we then take substrate metahuman and a substrate node slab for water and then just combine the two, stack them on top of each other to create sweat or even crying or tears. So that's what I'm doing here. This is nothing complex or nothing like that. You can replicate this the same way if you just do the same thing I'm doing here, just copy these. So we have the result, the output for the water droplet. We are now going to create a vertical blend for that. So I'm gonna go to vertical blend, substrate again, layer. And you're going to see right here that we have the vertical top and bottom. So I want the water to be on top, all right? So then I'm going to take that meta human node, and I'm going to take it, put that to the bottom, and I'm going to disconnect this by holding control, and then take the substrate vertical layer, and now we're going to put that to the front material, which is going to be your final result. And you can already see it here in our sampler. I'm going to apply, and then if we go back to Rita, you're now going to see that her face is wet. And again, you're probably able to do this without substrate. But by me just creating that vertical node, I was able to combine two separate substrate slabs together. That's crazy good. So now we're going to be seeing a lot more after this video, after I upload this, we're going to be seeing a lot more sweaty metahumans. Because this, this looks pretty good. Now, you can play around with the actual values right here. I just made it a little bit pink. You can change the color around. You can change the values of the F0 and the roughness and things like that. Um, you have the triple S right here. You can mess around with these settings to get the perfect look. And obviously, this is a water droplet. It's not really tears right so you would have to get a different normal texture for that this is just a water drop normal you can download it somewhere or whatever but you can mess around with that so let me reconnect this real quick it looks like i got disconnected from the thickness but that being said this right here looks great right but obviously you're probably going to want that to animate a little bit so again you can just use you know like an old school panner here and I'll connect that there and the coordinates will connect it there. And then for the speed on the Y, I think it's 0, 0, 0, 3. You don't definitely, you want it negative because you want it going down, but at the same time, you don't want it too fast, right? So I'm going to save this, compile it or whatever. This is going to prepare the shaders because now if we look, let's see if I can pull this up, because now if we go here, you're going to see that the water is actually falling down, right? So I think that is a little bit too much. Nobody sweats like that unless they're like playing, you know, like high performance sports or just doing suspicious stuff. So 
So you can see right now, those water droplets are going to start falling down her face. So again, the next question is, obviously right now, this is what I'm going to have to look up. I have to somehow mask all of the other droplets if I just want her to cry, maybe just like right here. Because again, if I can put all this water on her face, I can also just put one, like a teardrop. So again, this substrate is not really documented yet. Um, but again, I'm just kind of, but, but I'm just still experimenting here because just to answer your questions that I have in my head. Uh, but that is really uh, how you can combine two substrate slabs to create this effect right here, which is a sweating, wet metahuman.